what is up guys welcome to our new series where I'm going to just take a quick little bit of time and describe how I would use a certain character in a movie or their own franchise or introduce them into a current continuity first up is going to be one of my all-time favorites the Silver Surfer now Silver Surfer as you saw in the original Fantastic Four movie attempts or Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer was completely butchered hundred and ten percent uh, Fox clearly didn't know what to do with this character now you know, the Silver Surfer is a character that is very rich, very loaded with history, has an emotional tale, uh, you know, starting on the planet of Zenla, where Norrin Rad is a guy who's, you know, married, has a wife, he is just an everyday person, he's nothing special, he's nothing more, until one day, Galactus comes. Now, the story I would do is, you know, exactly that. I would follow the first maybe half hour on Zen Law, just establishing what the world looks like, you know, this beautiful place, towers, you know, technology just evolving, you know, everything is perfect, like, it's almost like a paradise. And then, you know, you slowly build up something that's coming towards us, you know, the government's never told us. When Galactus arrives, he, of course, offers the power. Nornrad takes it because he wants to defend everything. Now, right there, you would automatically have an emotional connection. You see what he lives for. He's a man who wants to save his planet. You know, he really just wants to make sure everything he has is, you know, preserved perfectly. He wants to make sure the well-being of his wife is fine. Uh, hell, I would even, you know, throw kids in there to make it a more emotional impact. Now, of course, the Silver Surfer, as we know, goes off. He is the Herald of Galactus. Hell, he is given the power of the cosmic. He is the most powerful thing in the entire Marvel Universe. He surfs the wave of the cosmos. You can't possibly underestimate that. You know, now, with all this power, of course, comes great responsibility. And I would focus on that aspect of the character, saying, Okay, well, look at all he has, but he knows what he gave up. And despite all, you know, having all this power and having to be a herald of Galactus and the power corrupting him, which is another aspect I would focus on, is how he's trying to fight it from the inside, how his mind and heart is trying to take back over, I would say, listen, he needs to really have a human side and how he battles against it. And he needs to realize that, yeah, I have all this power, but there's more to this. I was something before, you know, and his mind kind of starts to come back. Much like how the original Robocop movie perfectly did that. You know, he would need to have little flashes of emotion on what happened. And since we already gotten and established that he has a family and a life and he loves his planet, I think that would be a perfect way to do it. Now, of course, for this movie to work, I would actually jump the movie forward a few years towards the last arc and have it be a final showdown much later on, not with the Fantastic Four, but much later on down the road where Galactus actually has a second Herald. The reason I would do that is because I would still want a Fantastic Four movie where they get introduced and the Fantastic Four fully turn him. But I think it would be very important to just, you know, do this type of flashback type of deal to make it that the whole movie was essentially a flashback leading up to the final battle where we see Galactus finally get taken down by his Herald. I think that would be the perfect way to do it. I mean, Silver Surfer, at its core, is really a great love story. A story about a man that loves everything he's ever had, and it's taken away from him. Not because it was, you know, unforeseen circumstances or something, because he just wanted to. He wanted to save everything he loves. And I think if you play with that core aspect, you're going to get one of the greatest movies you could possibly get out of this franchise, out of the character. And dare I say it, it would probably be one of the most emotional comic book movies available. Just think, I mean, the sacrifice of an entire planet is at his hands. I, I, that's the real way I would pitch it. I mean, Silver Surfer really deserves a shot, and I think, you know, with the right people, it could be done. 